Holy crap, guys. Godzilla minus one. I'm gonna be honest with you. I've been sitting here for the last hour in front of this camera, trying to make, I guess, form words into how much I loved this movie. I feel like a lot of people have already talked about this movie. This movie's been out for a while, you know, I have seen a lot of reviews on it, but I really wanted to review this one because I saw the trailer and personally, I was like, you know, that looks good. You know, it doesn't look bad. But after seeing everyone talk about it and just rave about it, it genuinely got me pretty excited. You know, I was like, okay, like, I'm, I actually really want to see this now. What's going on with this movie? And um, this weekend, I had the chance to go see it. I actually went out of town <laughs> to purposely just to see this movie and another movie, which I will be talking about later on in my channel. But my main purpose is I wanted to see this movie. Like, I'm not even saying this to be extra. I'm genuinely just trying to find the perfect words to describe this movie because God damn it, Godzilla Minus One is not only one of the best movies of the year, but I truly think that this is the best Godzilla movie I've ever seen. Someone cooked here. Just plain and simple, this movie is absolutely amazing. Like, in so many different ways, and I am shocked because I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know. I didn't think that this movie would live up to the hype, but even going into it, I had really good expectations that this movie was going to be really good. But I don't even know how, but somehow, this movie surpassed every expectation I possibly could have for a movie like this. It was an utterly dumbfounding experience from beginning to end, and I just want to share it so much with my audience because, by God, if you have the chance to see this movie, I'm gonna say this first, go watch it. My God, please. I, I, I'm begging, I'm begging. This is one of the best movies of the year. You're not gonna be disappointed if you watch this movie. I'm just saying that right now before I get to my main review because honestly, if you don't wanna be spoiled at all like I was, just go. Honestly, just go, you will have such a great time. But for all the people who wanna hear my review and maybe you've already seen it, let's just get straight into the review. Now before anything and before I get to really talking about my big points, I do wanna address that I am probably gonna mess up some of the names in this video. I'm gonna try and give proper credit to where it's due, but I'm not gonna guarantee that I'm gonna get the names 100% right because uh, I may be a little bit stupid when it comes to pronouncing names, and that's not even an exaggeration. So just keep that in mind. I am trying my best. I mean no disrespect. It's just me. I don't know why I can't pronounce certain things. But with all that said, this film was directed by Takahashi Yamazaki, and this film is set in the year of 1945, near the end of World War II, where befalls Shikishima, a former kamikaze pilot who cheated death and got his whole squad killed by a mysterious creature. Years later, Shikishima, still burdened with the grief of his actions, finds new purpose in a new New dysfunctional family that he creates with Noriko and her adopted child. But soon after, the creature that tore through his team years ago re-emerges as the infamous Godzilla as it begins to tear its way through Japan. So Shikishima and friends decide to take down Godzilla once and for all and save Tokyo. Uh, I want to start off just with, I guess you could say, um, shouting out the director. What a friggin' legend. Like honestly, this guy, from everything I've heard about the production with this movie, was so passionate about this product. Because as I said before, he did direct the movie, but he actually was responsible for the majority of the CGI in this movie. But this movie really, in terms of like Hollywood standards, really didn't have that big of a budget at all. There's been a lot of talk online regarding the budget of this film, as some reports have claimed that the budget for this film was about $15 million, which is hilarious because it was actually debunked pretty quick after by the director himself, quoting, I wish we had that much, and then it sort of went on and said this movie was more made for like, I guess you could say, 12 to 13 million roughly around, which just to put it into retrospect, I want to give you a little bit of a comparison in compare to some of the other Godzilla movies that were made. Take 2014's version of Godzilla. This movie had a budget of roughly 160 million dollars, and then the sequel, which was Godzilla King of the Monsters, was made for about 170 million. This movie was made made for 15 to 12 million dollars compared to 170 million. <laughs> this is just one of those things where if you have a dream to make a movie and you have a very small budget compared to most Hollywood movies, you can still succeed. Because I'm going to be honest with you, comparing Godzilla minus one to something like Godzilla 2014 is like night and day. Like it is crazy 
the quality compared to these two films and how Godzilla Minus One makes all the American Godzillas look like child's play. They look like nothing compared to this movie. Not only from just a CGI point of view, but a film point of view. So obviously the big first thing I really want to talk about this movie as regards to the effects, which I just really want to say that these effects, considering the budget, and considering what they had to go off of, is honestly absolutely amazing. Like, in my personal opinion, I would think that this movie actually looks 10 times better than something like Godzilla, King of the Monsters, which honestly, I didn't hate the way that movie looked, but honestly, in terms of scale, I think this movie looks 10 times better. It has some of the best action scenes I have seen all year long. Like, it genuinely looks so good. And the Godzilla action, oh my god. This is by far my favorite Godzilla ever. Like, easily ever. I love so many different things about him, especially the fact that this Godzilla is absolutely terrifying. Like, so friggin' scary. Like, there were so many parts in the movie where I was just clenched up, just like, oh my god, like, what am I feeling right now? Why am I genuinely terrified of this thing? Because honestly, in all the American Godzillas, I never once thought that way. Like, sure, that character is very intimidating, and that adaptation is meant to be very cool and badass, and yeah, he is badass, but the thing about the American Godzillas is they never played him up to be the bad guy. In those movies, he's the good guy, besides, like, the very, very old one. But in the most part, he is the good guy. He's the protector of the ecosystem. He's protector of planet Earth, you know, sort of stuff like that. He'll step in and take care of the monsters that are threatening world's order, you know, stuff like that. Which I do want to say I'm not opposed to. I don't hate that interpretation of the character. But after watching Godzilla Minus One, I hope for now on they just make Godzilla the villain in every movie. Because I enjoyed him so much more as the villain to this movie than the savior of this movie. I also really loved the idea behind this interpretation of Godzilla where the director very much came out and said that he wanted to move away from the reptile sort of lizard look of Godzilla and feeling of the character. In this movie, he very much aimed to try and make Godzilla look like a monster and they 100% succeeded. He's got these dead eyes that just roam around when he's destroying buildings and it makes him feel like this just unstoppable, just blank slate where he doesn't care about anything besides just destroying what's ever in front of him. And oh my god, the atomic breath scene, um, that is the best part of the movie. <laughs> I was loving this movie in the theater, like, I was having fun, I was laughing, I was smiling, I was getting so excited, I had all my friends there with me, we were having such a great time. And I remember, as soon as that atomic breath scene came up, my face went from smiles and cheers to just... My face just went to utter just shock. But honestly, the most important thing that I really wanted to talk about, and the thing that a lot of people have been talking about, is that this movie has some of the best characters in any Godzilla or creature film ever. Because it's a very much, it's almost like a cliche at this point. In the American Godzillas, you don't care about anyone, pretty much. Like, there's a couple characters you might be go, oh, I like him, you know, he's all right. But most of the time, you're just there to see Godzilla. You're there to see him break through buildings, beat up monsters. That's what you're there for. But in Godzilla Minus One, I was equally as invested in the characters than I was Godzilla, which I really think is just a testament to the script, which is just really good. They make every character in this movie not only feel very important, but they make them feel all very likable, especially our main sort of group of protagonists. I loved every single one of them. They all had something called a personality, and they were all pretty much fleshed out. Like, they all had something going for them, especially our main protagonist. He's such a complex character, where in this movie, he was a kamikaze pilot, basically abandoned his post, made up an excuse, which basically saved his own skin, because he was too afraid to actually go and do what he was hired to do, you know? throw his life away, basically, which is such a sad thing that a man who basically just wants to live can be ridiculed by so many people and just look down upon on society. It's honestly a really sad scene when he comes back and everyone's like, what are you doing here? Weren't you a kamikaze pilot? Like, you abandoned your post? You're a coward. Like, how dare you? Because there's a lot of really harsh themes in this movie, especially on PTSD. And those parts of the movie 100%, I think, really help this movie feel much more than just a monster feature film. Every character felt real. Their struggles felt real. And every character was like that. There was not one character that I genuinely sat back and said, I don't like you, or I think they could have done more with that character. No. 
every single character in this movie I really loved. So when Godzilla shows up and he's threatening everyone, you're on the edge of your seat the entire time because you don't want to see anybody die. You love these characters. These characters are everything in this movie. So when Godzilla shows up for the first time and is like crossing paths with our characters, you are genuinely just so afraid. It's so scary in this movie. It's not just Godzilla killing random people. It's our main protagonist that you're fearful for, which is never the case in most Godzilla movies or creature features. You're just there to see them be fodder. They're there just to die but in this movie they really try and emphasize the importance of these characters and make them feel like real people and they succeed and I understand some people don't like subtitles like that's a very big thing like I don't think I should read an essay when I watch a movie you you barely you forget about it like you forget about the first five minutes of the movie because you get so invested in the movie and with the characters you're just like I don't care and I think the simplest thing I can say about ending this review is just go see this movie I think that this movie is really something special it's obvious, like, everyone has been talking about it to death, but this movie is incredible. It is so good. I loved this movie. I genuinely don't have anything bad to say about this movie, and that's why I'm going to give this movie a 10 out of 10. This movie deserves it. It was so friggin' good. It elevated the genre. It elevated the idea of what a Godzilla movie could be, in my opinion. Just, it impressed me on every level, and I didn't really know if it was going to, and that makes it even better. This movie is great. You need to see this movie. If you have the opportunity, I highly guarantee, if you like these sort of things, if you like action movies and just really good monster flicks, this is your movie. This is 100% something you need to watch. If you don't like subtitles, you're, you snooze, you lose, I guess. Like, if you don't want to watch it just because of that, I'm not going to tell you you can, but... I'm just saying you're missing out. This movie was fantastic. But anyways, if you like this video, please like and subscribe down below for more content on the channel coming pretty damn soon. And I'm going to see you all in the next one. See ya.